it's a direct attack. It is a direct attack on protein for sure. So I'm going to give you some context first. We are looking at nutrient profiling systems. So what is that? They're basically a way to simplify making healthy decisions. Food Compass saw that there was a problem and they wanted to fix it. They said that existing nutrient profiles typically assess few nutrients and ingredients. They have inconsistent criteria for different food categories and they do not use the newest scientific research. So I was like, well, this study can't be that bad. Then they validated and developed a new system. And the system looked at nine different categories and the scoring was super simple. One was the least healthiest and 100 was the most health healthiest for food. Once this new system dropped, another paper was published and it was entitled Limitations of the Food Compass Nutrient Profiling System, pointing out the flaws that were in this system. And they were making the argument that Food Compass fails to discriminate for common short fall nutrients, exaggerates the risk associated with animal source foods, and underestimates the risk associated with ultra processed foods. And then they popped out this beautiful chart that is what news and the media took and ran with to make some very alarming photos. Fox News, for one, used this and titled the segment NIH Fund New Food Pyramid. And then they took it a step further to make a food pyramid that is just even more alarming with cocoa puffs and mini wheats on the bottom of the food pyramid, meaning you should eat as many of these as you can and eggs and ground beef at the top, meaning you should limit these. So I saw this and I was like, let me read, let me read the actual study. Is this study actually, does this study actually have the nerve to say such things? It's a direct attack. It is a direct attack on protein for sure. The highest score is a 95 and it's, it's salmon. And then the next one is Greek yogurt non-fat. And the fact that it said non-fat was really alarming to me because the study was claiming that previous profiling systems used outdate research, outdate science. But this one clearly has not caught up with the new science that is saying that full fat dairy, full fat products is actually beneficial for health. And then on top of that, they have eggs with a score of 61, where eggs is the most bioavailable protein that you can eat and the most inclusive in that even vegetarians, some vegetarians, ovo vegetarians, will still consume eggs. But the most alarming thing about this paper is the grains. And if you notice when you're talking when they're talking about meats, there's no name brands being dropped. There's no, you know, it's just it's general meat that you can get from anywhere, right? When you look at the grains, they're beginning to drop name brands, which is a little bit of a red flag for me. And the highest score for grains is a 95 and it's General Mills Cheerios. Okay, this chart that the limitations article published is not at all an exaggeration. Instead of having the foods in different food groups to make it look less dramatic, they took certain foods and put it together to really show the flaws of this grading system. These big attempts to simplify food for everybody is does not work. It has to be individualized for a specific person. I spend so much time with clients trying to get them to understand why certain foods that they think are bad for them are actually good for them and that they need to add it into their diet. And it's a slow progression, but when they begin to add it into their diet and they begin to feel better, they go, oh, okay, I, I had no idea. So what do you do if, if it has to be individualized and it's gonna get harder, appears like it's gonna get harder because we're clearly not learning and changing to get information from just a labeling on a package. You can work, you can work with me. I see clients online or, or you can test it out. This is what I tell every single one of my clients. I tell them not to take everything I say as truth. I say, test it out, try me, see if it works for you. See if I know what I'm talking about. And you could do the same thing with what Food Compass is putting out, if you're so inclined, if you're still really convinced. No, Marie, I like that new food pyramid. This is what you do. One week, choose foods that are in the, in the green. Have some frosted mini wheats with some skim milk in the morning. Every day for a week, see how you feel. Then the next week, try having some eggs, maybe two eggs, some cheddar cheese, and a handful of kale. And your body will tell you which foods is better for. You'll notice it by improved mood, by improved sleep, by improved bowel movements, going to the bathroom regularly. It's gonna show up for you. And that's what I have for you guys today. If you found this helpful or beneficial in any way, hit that subscribe button, show your love, like the video, and share it with a friend.
if you hit that subscribe button, I'll be seeing you again and I look forward to it.